Good morning all. I am Dr. Ajay Kumar Mahato and currently I am working as an assistant professor at GLA University Mathura. I would like to invite all of you in this video lecture series of digital image processing. Digital image processing is very interesting and a conceptual subject. Uh, once you have basic knowledge of digital image and understanding of various image processing tools like MATLAB and Python, you can uh, you can perform, you can execute n number of creative ideas on digital images. So let's discuss about the course curriculum of this subject. First, we will discuss about the theoretical content of this subject. The objective of this subject is to introduce the fundamental concepts of DIP to the student. The student will learn various image processing application in this subject as well as student will apply various digital image processing algorithm for real life applications. The theoretical content of this subject it is divided into two modules module 1 and module 2. In module 1 the first topic that we will discuss it will be introduction and fundamentals. In it we learn what is a digital image, what are the differences between a digital image and an analog image what are the different steps involved in DIP, what are the components we use in DIP, what are the different applications of DIP, what is image aspect ratio and so on. The next topic that we will discuss in module 1, it would be intensity transformation and spatial filtering. In intensity transformation, we will learn, we will learn various image enhancement techniques like image negation, power law transformation, logarithmic transformation. Then after we will learn histogram processing, in it we will learn the methodologies like uh, histogram equalization, histogram specification, histogram stretching. Then after we will discuss about the spatial filtering. In spatial filtering, we learn what are the different filters that we can apply on a digital image. The third topic of module 1 will be filtering in the frequency domain. In this topic, first we have to learn about the Fourier transformation both in the continuous domain and in the discrete domain. Thereafter, we will learn how to convert an image into frequency domain, how to design a filter in the frequency domain, how to generate the frequency domain output and how to convert this frequency domain output back into a spatial domain that we will learn. All these things we will learn in this topic filtering in the frequency domain. In module 2, the first topic that we will learn, it will be the morphological image processing. In it, we learn various operations like dilation, erosion, opening, closing, how to perform the region filling operation, how to perform the heat or mist transformation, how to extract the internal and the external boundary for a given object. So all these operations we will discuss in this topic, morphological image processing. The next topic, it would be the image segmentation. In it, we learn how to detect the presence of an isolated point, line or edge in a given digital input image. We will also learn the various thresholding approaches also in this topic. And the last topic of this curriculum, it would be the image representation and description. In it, we learn, uh, in it, we learn about chain codes. These are the references books which we will refer in this subject. All these books are available in our central library. You may issue this book, you may read this book for a better understanding. Now next, let us discuss the curriculum of lab session. Though image processing operation we can perform on MATLAB or we can perform on Python with Jupyter Notebook also. So in lab session, I will prefer MATLAB tool to perform image processing operation. So these are some of the experiments which we will perform before your midterm examination and these are some of the experiments along with this minor project work which, which you have to perform after your midterm examination. And these are the references book for this uh, lab session. All these books are available in our central library. You may issue this book, you may read this book for a better understanding. Next, as a faculty, I always encourage my students, I always motivate my students to learn the recorded video lectures which are available 
in our naptal archive so these are some of the uh, so these are some of the video lecture series which is available in our naptal archive personally among all these uh, video lecture series personally i like the video lecture series of Pro professor pk vishwas sir and in order to prepare this video lecture series also i refer his lectures only these are some of the lecture series which is available in swam archive if someone wants to learn how to apply digital image processing applications uh, how to apply uh, digital image processing algorithm on satellite images he or she may refer the video lecture series of arun sir and if someone wants to learn how to use python software for image processing operation he or she may refer the video lecture series of dipti ma'am and bharti ma'am and in youtube i have created this playlist for the benefit of my students and my subscribers so in youtube you may search my channel electronics by ajay sir in it i have created this playlist digital image processing tutorial for my students as well as for my subscriber so this playlist it is dedicated to my students and to my subscriber if you have any video request for me you can write it in the comment or you can write email to me and accordingly i will uh, and accordingly i will create some video content for you and if someone wants to uh, pursue his or her career in image processing domain he or she have to learn some programming tools like matlab and python tools like opencv he or she has to learn basics knowledge of mathematics which include the linear algebra which includes the matrix operation it uh, these basic mathematics will be required for a uh, for a proper understanding of digital image and if someone wants to design some autonomous autonomous navigation applications he or she must have the basic and fundamental knowledge of machine learning and deep learning so today i am going to stop here in the next video lecture i will start some fundamental concepts of dip thank you all